So back in September of 2019, Aaron Judge sustained a broken rib diving for a ball in right field. Fly ball, shallow right, coming on as Judge dives and he can't make the play. It's a base hit for Pujols. Watch his head and neck. This is where you it just jars your whole body. Only problem is that Judge, although clearly in pain, he had no idea, and the Yankees had no idea, and that led to him refusing to sit out. He didn't miss one game in the entire postseason. When it was finally uncovered in March, it was looking like he was going to hit the IL. He was probably going to miss at least all of April, but then, of course, the coronavirus happened, MLB season got pushed back, and that was good news for the Yankees. Now, we're talking in terms of baseball here. Obviously, there's nothing good about the coronavirus, but with the season getting pushed back that gave the Yankees players some time to heal and that includes Aaron Judge and we've got a couple updates on Judge over the past couple weeks starting out with when he went live on Instagram with Damian Lillard who I think is an NBA player I'm pretty sure I'm not too sure guy seems pretty cool but this is what Judge had to say on the live with him it's going good we were in spring training just getting the season going having a broken rib I should be back doing a little more here in about a week or two and then hopefully have some answers when the season starts it's crazy times also real quick while we're on the topic of Damian Lillard check out this clip real quick of him saying he believes Judge is a new Derek Jeter. It's a pretty cool clip. Take a look. I be feeling like you the new Derek Jeter, bro. <laughs> Man. Man. Like, I don't I don't think you trying to, like, uh, feel his shoes or nothing, but you see what I'm saying? Like, he was... I feel like you got that type of presence, bro. Like, the... Yeah. No, Derek, he, he Derek paved Jeter the way, vibes, bro. Yeah, no, he paved the way, for sure. That's the thing mm. that I've been fortunate enough to be with the Yankees, man. Just the, the legends we have... You know, coming in and out of that building, you know, during yeah. spring training, during the season, you know, just checking in, man, like, you know, Jeter's, the Mariano Rivera's, Andy Pettit, you know, Ron Guidry, all those guys, yeah, Reggie Ooh. Jackson, man, like, it's it's yeah. no joke, man. So you, you feel that presence. And, you know, as a player, man, I want to, I want to, I want to be that same presence. You know, right. I want to set that, that path for the guys coming up behind me. You know, they're in rookie ball, they're in low way. Like, hey, like, you know, this is how we do things here, man. If you right. want to win, you want to, you know, be champions, man. You put the team first. You play hard every day and you, know, you do it for the team. Damien, man, all I have to say to you is that just about every single one of us Yankee fans, we agree with you. But back to Judge's broken rib, that live stream, it took place on April 9th. That's when Judge said he would need about a week or two to get things going a little bit more. And it's been about two weeks now. So you figure he might be ramping things up, maybe throwing the ball around, but there really is no rush here whatsoever because I believe there's going to be a baseball season this year. I really am confident and optimistic towards that, but we do have a lot of time. Judge does not have the rush by any means, which is why some people, and I can't even really argue with them, think that he should get the surgery because it was on the table that he may have to have surgery on that rib to repair it but the Yankees and Judge they're taking the route of rehab which I'm all for why get surgery if you don't necessarily need it and he hasn't had any setbacks as far as we know we got another update courtesy of Brian Hoke MLB writer for MLB.com here's what Judge had to say to him this is from Judge I think the consistent swinging and weightlifting throughout the whole offseason really didn't give it a chance to heal Judge said if somebody breaks their leg and they're in a cast they're immobilized for a couple weeks or months you give the bone a chance to heal but I was upset about how the season ended last year so I want right back at it we've all been through pain bumps and bruises in my head i feel like it was something that i could fight through and i think that kind of cost me a little bit here my first takeaway from reading that it just proves how tough of a player judges i mean even right after the yankees lost to the alcs he went right back to work in hindsight it wasn't such a good idea because he had that broken rib and that's why it hasn't healed because like he said if he just you know if he chilled for a couple months that offseason instead of working out and hitting his rib almost definitely would be just fine right now that's why i prefer he takes the route of caution you know be patient don't start swinging or doing long toss unless you know for a fact, Aaron, that you are 100% healthy because I definitely don't want to see a setback. If we do see a setback, then we'll probably have to go the route of surgery. But for now, this is all good news, guys. You do like to see Judge progressing, even though we're not going to see baseball for probably at least another couple months. But yeah, Aaron Judge, he's doing good. That's the update. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I'll see you guys next time. Let's go Yankees. Her body's gone like September. She burns through the night like an ember. And all those things we try forgetting, I remember. But we say we all fine, we all fine. Sunny day dreams and we up now. Vodka lemonade, I serve it up, it goes down. 75 degrees in a dope sound. All you need to live fine, to live fine. A little sunshine, cause she need it. A dose of rainfall in the evening. The waves crash down and we feel them. Say here's to the nights we steal them. And I be running cause I figured out. The more I slow down, the less I get out.